Uh, hey guys, uh, I, I got AAA and Spazzy here for a different kind of video. We're not going to be laddering. We were going to ladder with friends, but we decided we just want to talk tonight. Talk about the uh, meta and stuff. Uh, do you guys want to explain what we'll be talking about? Oh, uh, I'm Spazzy if you guys don't know. But first off, we're going to be talking about the current suspect test. That arena is, trap. Yeah, arena trap. By the way. Also, arena trap subject. We're going to be talking about the past ban, or not ban, suspect test of Doug Trio. Talk about turn a ban if it's actually worthy of being banned. Then we're going to be talking about the Mega Metagross ban if that was worthy of banning. And I'm triple AA battery. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh. All right. So, first up, I believe we're talking about Arena Trap. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, the first. Yeah, so the first. The last time we had an Arena Trap fan, or suspect, was. I believe near the beginning of this generation. It was spe it was specifically open. Doug Trio, because Diglett yeah. was being used in its place. But go on. Mm -hmm. Wait, you have anything yeah. to say? <laughs> I was just saying. Yeah, I was just saying. Like this was that was before even Ferramosa was being was was being suspect tested. Yeah. So this was pretty much. So back then, that was pretty much when the meta was still new, and we still had all this crazy stuff still in the tier. Yeah. But uh, um, Doug Trio itself is a very controversial Pokemon stall. I've noticed. Yeah. Even... Able to trap offensive threats. Yeah. It it traps it uh, traps like. Banded Tyranitar, it traps Rock Heatran, it, it just traps all sort of stuff that would otherwise give Stall a lot of problems. Yeah. And like, sir. Open to getting pursued. Yeah. That's why Dunkey runs Pursuit, right? Usually for other ghost types, if they notice they can switch, they switch, but then they get Pursuit trapped. I didn't know Doug Trio could even learn Pursuit, like, straight up. I knew it got Sucker Punch, I did not know it knew Pursuit. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so it can even trap the Lotties if it wants to. Like, wow. the Lotties are getting... Much to say about Doug Trio other than, I... I don't know, I just want it gone. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll say. At first, I was fine either way, but, like, now I definitely think it would be better, you know, gone. Just because, like, like these guys oh, have said, it, it's... Stuff like Heatran can finally be around more. Bisharp. <laughs> not like it's all right. Yeah, that, that's not really... But, I... <laughs> but now they can... It better with Dougie Trio gone. With three in a trap, just. I think the main the main thing that would change about the tier though is that Stall would actually become much more manageable. Yeah. Because at the moment that was all. It's honest. like a, a majority of Stall teams you face have Doug Trio, and it's it's real. Like they said, they trap. Stall's biggest uh, biggest checks and like it just becomes much harder to deal with like a while back I remember a quote saying like any good stall team right now has no reason to not throw on Doug Trio just because it like added so much yeah Dougie is basically Stall's Lando yep um, on Stall uh, I've never seen Lando on stall this generation. Fence, it can be a chancy. 
bro. I, mean, I guess, but uh, one thing it lacks, I mean, one thing that Lando lacks that would really help it otherwise is reliable recovery. So you have to constantly wish past two, and if you want to keep let me, it let me, Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can barely hear you, by the way. That's why I'm almost talking over you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let me just read a quote from A1 Gallade, the true goat, by the way. Dougie going means stall on the ladder will be less annoying, and I have no complaints about that. Besides, when things like Tapu Lele start running shed shell, you know something is wrong. And uh, I gotta say, yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, Tapu Lele has no business naturally running an item like that. It's just forced to because of Doug Trio. And with Doug Trio out of the way, it won't have to run an option like that. And it can focus more on you know, other deadly strats. But if we're done talking into Doug Trio, talking about Doug Trio now, I think this would be a good branching point for our next uh, topic. Unless you guys have more to say about Doug Trio. It would be disgusting. It would be Magirna, correct? Yes. Yeah, the, the main reason I'm worried about Doug Trio going is because it opens up Magirna to be an even bigger threat than it already is, so... Right now, I can see why people are, like, iffy on, like, banning Arena Trap on, like, I don't know either. I want to actually ban it, but... I... At the same time, I don't know. I have so much trouble with Magirna. Like, I mean... Even in the, even during the first suspect test with Dougie, I was in favor of it going, but yeah, Magi it going would mean that Magirna becomes an even more potent, even more potent threat than it is now. Yeah, and it's already arguably spazzy, <laughs> arguably one of the most centralizing in the tier. Okay, you finally said one of. Before you just said arguably the best. I'm, but I mean, like it's S. It's the only other S rank right now is Lando. <laughs> so, ergo, it would be next to Lando, the most centralizing Pokemon in the tier. S. <laughs> next to Lando, but it still isn't. Disagree with you, but I don't agree with you. <laughs> That's really it. But on the topic of uh, Magirna, do you guys think it'll be suspected soon? Like, I think we're reaching that point, regardless of this Doug Trio suspect test. But, like, I think this Doug Trio test, if it does go, which I'm assuming it will, um, do you think it'll, like, push Magirna to that level as well? Yeah, um, Magirna is versatile. It can run, well, not really versatile, but it's versatile. It, yeah, definitely. It's, like, on shift gear sets, most don't even run any dab on at all, because its coverage is just so good. Yep. It's Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Focus Blast, and it, gets, and it still has... Bolt switch. I mean, not that that it's, base. it's a decent base 80 HP as well, backed up with its one defenses. Yep. Amazing 130 special attack. Can run bulky gear with. It has a base 65, and when max. Uh, hold on, let me check here. If I remember right, that's like 502 speed that it reaches after shift gear, if it's timid. Uh... I don't remember exactly, but... I know it's up there. Oh, I have to face this thing on my very first week in a draft league. I, I know. Yeah, whoever let me I reached just 502? Being able to outspeed stuff like like Greninja, doesn't it like barely outpace Scarf Chomp? 
Uh, um, I'm pretty I, I don't sure. know. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it does. Because I'm pretty sure I've lost to that using Scarf Chomp before. Wow. It, it actually barely outspeeds Scarf Chomp. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Even... Yeah, Scarf like, Chomp isn't even a check if it's got its shift gear up. Yep. So. As I said earlier... In an argument with my friend, aka Brown, that, that I don't use setup to justify what's ban work. It's just so good. Yeah, like regardless of setup. Yeah, it doesn't need the setup to be good. Like the AV set is still, you know, viable to say the least. Just throw that on a team and, you know, it, it, it I think it's the, well, Tangrowth, I guess. I was going to say it's the most common AV user, but Tangrowth is still a thing, though, probably, so. Yeah. Yeah, but Magirna's at, right behind that. Yeah. Like, I know before I said I shouldn't use setup to justify it, but... Like, justify what can beat what, but... Magirna! Yeah, Everything! Yeah, Magirna is a little... A little too powerful. <laughs> a pre-dug trio. Well, Arena Trap. But once it goes... Uh... Yeah, I, I'm worried like, about the meta. Doesn't, and I'm, I'm worried about... Like, doesn't... You, go ahead. I was gonna say, like... Off I, I'm pretty sure some offense also runs like Scarf Dug Trio, so that they don't lose to Scar to Shift Gear Mag. Oh, okay. I know Scarf Duggy's running around. I didn't know like specifically for that, but that makes sense. Mm. Okay, but what were you gonna say? Uh. Oh, I was worried about like after. Magirna potentially goes like what all else because like Lele is probably going to become a problem too once Dougie goes along with like I had more things in mind but I can't remember them right now of course uh, professional but maybe you guys can uh, take over from here since I can't seem to think of things yeah. I I have a feeling I knew what you were going to say, like, D Doug Trio is what keeps Lele from from beating Stahl. Um, Magirna is a check to most, uh, to most Tapu Lele as well. Mm -hmm. Or, wait, did I get that? Did I say that wrong? I meant Doug Trio keeps Tapu Lele from running through Stahl. Yeah. And... Magirna also checks Tapu Lele, so those two being gone would give it a much more leeway. Yep. Which All right, now we're in which it. brings us back to things like Mega Metagross, right? Yeah. About this meta right now. If one thing goes, then another thing screws up like screws up the entire yeah. meta. Yeah, that's... Then that thing goes, and then another thing. Yeah, I, I think Doug Then Trio, if that thing goes... I think Doug Trio is the tipping point. But then again, we are almost at the end of, like, a meta game because, like, Ultra Sun and Moon come out very soon, so... Things right now have to be banned in order to have a good meta, that is. A working meta without... So many things being so over centralized once another thing comes in. Like wreaks havoc. Right. Any but yeah. Speaking of over centralizing, let's go let, let's go let's go back on the topic of like we, we mentioned Mega Metagross briefly, but I believe that was another subject, like wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So in this argument I had with Brown today about if Mega Metagross really was banworthy. And he said that 
don't even know if this is really much relevant, but he said that Mega Diancy is an answer. Yeah, um, this was, that was because, uh, what, what, at plus one, meaning having to run Calm Mind, uh, Earth Power, Okos. And so, we brought up that it was a speed then, tie, and he said Dual Dance, you know, was the way to go. Which I don't really agree with, because if you're running Dual Dance, you can only run two moves, uh, meaning you're foregoing one of your stab moves, most likely the Rock one, since you have Calm Mind. But... Uh, on top so, of that, Metagross gets what bullet did... punch, so, you know, there's that on top of everything. When he said that that was the answer, oh, I remember why this is relevant now. <laughs> why? Like, when he said that Mega Diancy is the answer, that clicked in my head. What? Worth it. What? All I heard was worth it. Ban was worth it. Oh. Oh. You mean it? You mean the? When he says that Mega Diancy's the answer. No, not, not the answer. No. He said he You said have it. to rely on setup sweepers. But like, and if you're not able to set up, and Metagross just wins. Like, what I was thinking, just, like, I think Metagross definitely deserved its ban when it got banned, because restrict it just restricted team building, like, so much. But now, I think, would be a time that maybe it would be fair to give it a, a re-suspect. Though, with Dougie gone again, I don't know, because, like, you know, that was one of the things keeping it in check, but... Or did did EQ even kill? If Mega Metagross comes back, then I we're mean... going to need Arena Trap. <laughs> so I think I think right now we have we are suspecting Arena Trap. Yeah. So we can't say we want Mega Metagross back. I mean, I admit I want I did not want Mega Metagross to be banned. Had to be done. Like, I, I was want, pretty... I did want it banned, and it had to be done. <laughs> I I was pretty indifferent, I guess. Though I guess I leaned more toward banning it. But this is my favorite. Like, it's my favorite mega. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it is his favorite. Um, but I mean, to answer your earlier question, Andy, um. No, Doug Trio EQ doesn't kill, because I remember that Jolly Landorus Teeth EQ doesn't kill uh, Mac Mega Metagross from full. Okay. So, Dougie, Focus Sash. He gets two hits but off. I... Or even uh, the Groundium could do it, but that... Yeah. It, if, yeah, I remember that Groundium and, like... In, at the time, banded Doug Trio on um, one hit KO Mega. Okay. But yeah, we we just like primarily brought up Metagross because it it came up during their during a discussion about Doug Trio. I don't know why it came up, but it did. That's why we're talking about that right now. By the way. <laughs> but I, I do think. I do think that would be, since you know, we have all the Megas now, so I think it might be like a fair time to retest it. Because at the time, along with all the things boosting Mega Metagross, like the terrains, the auto speed, combined with the fact that not a whole lot of other Megas were out, uh, it was just too much. But now that we have Megas again, it might be fair to retest it. But then again, if Dougie goes, then. I'm not sure if even that. So, like, the way to beat Mega Metagross now with all Megas out, pretty much get as much chip as you can with Pokemon that can outspeed it. 
and then go like kill it and then probably like go into like no just you have to have a pokemon that outspeeds it like coco that doesn't even yeah which doesn't kill it from oh. that's what i mean by chip you have to do a bunch of but the thing with it is you can't switch into it right it's banned yeah nothing yeah. switches into it exactly Sweep your whole team. The that's why back then Mega Scizor was so common because it was like the only quote unquote reliable answer to it. But if Mega Gross got like a Meteor Mash booster too, then that just stopped being a check. Yeah. That just stopped being an answer. Yep. That is why I don't really like I don't boosts as a way to justify Amon getting banned. Because that is just solely on luck. Uh, I guess. Um, but, honestly, I think a lot of these Megas actually don't stop Mega Metagross. In fact, I think a lot of the Megas that came out actually help Mega Metagross out more because he beats a lot of them. Mega yeah, and Mega Manetric does. Okay. Mega Manetric's okay. Um, I guess Plus, Mega Amper with Coco and Mega Manetric, Volt switching out, sacking him on, and then going into Mega Manetric, that will be able to stop Mega Metagross for good. Yeah. But there were also a lot of other Megas that weren't released. But like, like Mega, like Mega Deancy. I mean, like Brown's suggesting that oh, all you need to do is set up twice on a different Pokemon, and then you beat it. Yeah. Like, so that I requires don't... quite a bit. Yeah. I don't. Fine. So yeah, even I then, bullet punch. Is... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the then again, is not an answer. Mega Altaria, as much as I love it, that's not an answer. Mega Gardevoir, that's not an answer. Uh, not an answer. Mega yeah, Lopini, only an answer if you get enough chip off. Yeah. It... Get a crit. <laughs> yep. Mega Gross actually just won me once a lot of newly released Megas. So. What is the way his speed is? What? <laughs> uh, so base 110 speed and it's actually really fast. Like, I was yep. thinking, hey, maybe you can run Trick Room to re to do even more, but, um, yeah, it's, it's too fast for that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Mega, Meta, me, me, Mega Metagross is strong, bulky, and fast all in one, which is crazy. Yep. <clears throat> and I think that's it. Yeah. So... Yeah, long story short, um, I think most of us would agree that, that that anything that happens from here on could uh, really impact the meta. Dougie being banned could result in Nagirna getting banned, which could result in Top of Lele getting broken, etc, etc. And... If we wanted, if we think Mega Metagross was still, uh, someone else make the point about Mega Metagross because I just messed all that up. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mega Metagross is, it would be really good if it was still an OU. Yeah. I think it was worth it. Yeah, I yeah, don't. Yeah. I don't think it has a place in OU. Like right now, it's a place in Ubers. Things bad, oh, yeah. Ubers. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's not an argument on why Smogum does things. So like, yeah. anything it's else? Good to be in OU. 
not good enough to be an Ubers. Similar to Faramosa, and similar to Buzzwole, and Yu Yu and OU. Right. The fit. Mm. Arrowthorn fits better. <laughs> I found your check. I'll check, counter. Anyways, um... In Sun and... Um, for Mega Metagross, just... In Sun and Moon, I don't think there's anything that will change that could make it... That could make it suddenly healthy again. Unless the meta really shifts towards anti-steel in some way. Like... Lele? So... Becoming a nuisance? Which could yeah. definitely happen if Dougie and Magirna go. Yeah. <laughs> so. Finally, we're gonna look at all three of those and say, belt bolt, yes or no? <laughs> I don't know. The arena trap. The trap slash Dougie, yes or no? I say yes. I say yes. Yeah, I, I've always been on board with Arena Trap being gone. Alright. Magban. We just said yes to Dougie. Yes to Mag. Yes to or Mag. Or no. Yes to Mag? Yeah. I'd say yeah. Yeah. Be a huge issue. We have to use Gar Scarf Chomp a lot more. And Celesteela. Oh yeah. And the Mega Meta Ban. Yes to ban. To yes. Yes. Yeah, it's yes to bad. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so this has probably been a so completely <laughs> unhelpful video again, but hopefully it was somewhat entertaining. Okay. We're just talking about the meta, that's it. Talk about what we think. Yeah. It's helpful, right? Hopefully. And if yeah, not, hopefully well, it was entertaining. This at, that, at most, please. No, not at most. At least to be entertaining. Yeah. Pretty much I tell you know. this is boring, but <laughs> I don't know. I I I I don't think this is quite the same as me getting upset over my opponent's play. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be doing that again very soon, though. Oh, right, right. Until then, guys. Hashtag pray for Aaron. <laughs>